Hello YouTube and welcome to another PF Sense tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to enroll your PF Sense instance to the CrowdSec console. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you have seen on my last video, I showed you how to install and configure the CrowdSec service. Okay, so we have configured some settings and we even do a test to show you that actually we have successfully detected some attacks using CrowdSec. Okay, but in this video, we'll go further and see how to enroll your PFSense to the CrowdSec console because it has many advantages. Okay, so first thing first, you have to actually create an account on this CrowdSec console. Okay. So if you go to the app.crowdsec.net, you have to create an account. So as you can see here, I already have an account created. Okay. So of course, all the links, you will find them in the description of this video. Okay. So when we log on using our, uh, as you can see here, email address to the CrowdSec console, you go to your search engine. And first thing here that you will notice that to display error, you have to connect CrowdSec security engine to your account. So if I want to connect my PFSense, I have to click on this button. And here you have to find a lot of information how to install CrowdSec. But for us, the most interesting thing is how to enroll PFSense in this console. So it's pretty simple. All you have to do is, is execute this command here. Okay. So I'll copy it and I will open actually shell on my PFSense. So here I am on shell on my PFSense and I will execute this command. I can even add a dash dash name just to specify that I want to enroll PFSense. Okay, so okay, I can here add PFSense, for example, just to distinguish my uh, my instance. Okay, so let's execute this command and see what we get. So here you have a couple of infos here. So watch your successfully enrolled. So you have to visit this site that I am already in. And here finally you can see please restart CrowdSec after accepting the enrollment so the first thing here we have to go to this site and accept the enrollment okay so let's do that so i will refresh or go to search engine so now you can see that i have a message here that if i want to accept this enroll or not of course, I want to accept it because it was initiated by me. So I will accept this enroll. Okay. And here you can see that our PFSense firewall has appeared here. Okay. But remember, we have to restart actually our PFSense as you have seen here on this console. So let's restart. So normally you will just type service crowdsec restart and the service will be restarted. Okay, so we have now everything. Let's refresh this page once again. Okay, so everything is okay now. We have our PFSense and we have our two alerts that we have configured on my last video. We have some scenarios here. We have remediation component and we have one block list. Okay, so let's first see these alerts here. Okay, so you can see with this console, we have some visual actually. So we see here there is an attack from this IP address on this time here okay so you can see the benefits from having the actually crowd console 
have even some uh, details about source and location of the IP addresses. So it's always good to have a visual actually explanation of the attacks that you have, okay? But the most important thing for us is actually this block list. So, so if we go to the block list, you can see here CrowdSec block lists block mass exploitation attempts before they reach your perimeters. So actually here you can see these block lists. So if I click for example on this uh, general here, block lists, I will see all the fives. So you can see here we have some different here names. And the most important thing for me is to see the number of subscriber. So for example, there is CrowdSec intelligence block list. You can even, but it's actually uh, here reserved for the platinum. So, but for us, we only have three block list subscription. So remember that for the free plan, you have only three block list subscription. So for example, let's try to see the general one and see some uh, details. So for example, I will see this uh, block list here, CrowdSec intelligent block list. So this is the CrowdSec main block list containing most aggressive IPs identified as attacking our network. Okay. So the number of IP addresses that it contains is about 5,600 or actually 56,000, okay? And we have here the most reported countries. So we can actually get this block list if we want. So let's get this block list. But in order to get it, you can see here that you need to apply for access. So you have to pay for it. But there are some free ones that we can get. So for example, if I go to these third parties, we can get them for free. So let's choose, for example, this one here, Firehall Green Snow that co block list. So I can show the details of it. So the same thing here. So let's subscribe to this list. Okay, here we go. And even here we can get some uh, actually decisions that we can make. This type of subscription ensures all current and future engine and integration will receive this block list. So we can select a remediation. So we can just select this ban, which means it will ban all the IPs referenced in this block list. So we can confirm the subscription. Okay. So now let me return back to our search engine. So you can see now that I have two block lists. So I can click on it and I can see the details of those block lists. Okay. There is also a very important thing here is this CrowdSec trade intelligence. So here you can actually query an IP address. So if you actually suspect an IP address, you can just enter it here and surf it and it will actually display all the info about this block list. Okay. So just navigating this uh, console will give you a lot of information about your search engine. And here is, of course, the activities here that is actually displayed. And of course, the settings, so you can change here the settings if you want. But for me, the most interesting thing here is this alert menu, which gives me further details about what happening on my search engines and the uh, 
actually attacks that I have received. I can even do some filtering using this button here. So I can filter by source IPs, source uh, countries, and so on. I can also choose the period, okay? So you can choose the period that you want to actually see in this Crowd Console. So that was just a brief video to show you how to enroll to the CrowdSec console. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. And of course, if you have any suggestions for future video, drop them in the comments below. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.